Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and let's create cookie cutters. Okay, so yeah, something like this. I think this is um, something for 3D printing. So I don't have my own 3D printer, so don't ask me about the mesh settings and so on. But I can show you how you can create such yeah, cookie cutters. Okay, let's start. So I delete everything and I reset the post process. So the best thing for this is I, th I think is a plain primitive here. So something like this. And my environment is too, and my exposure is too high. And so let's see the wireframe. We need much more topology. So Let's use, um, we have to validate first. Let's use multi-resolution and sub this, subdivide this mesh up to a million. So the poly count here, you can go higher. So the more poly count, the finer yeah, or the cleaner the mesh is. So yeah, okay. So the first option is you can use the mask tool and um, and uh, paint here your own object here like this and so this is your your cookie and yeah this is you can do it um, manually every cookie you want you can paint here with a mask so i show you a few mask settings here um, so um, the best thing for a clean mask is a flat fall off here and so in the in the pr pressure settings are off and the stroke spacing is about 20 percent so so you get a uh, real sharp uh, mask edges so when you change the settings the setting here uh, maybe up to 10 or so and you start here with your brush stroke you see here um, such blur blurry effects here so this does only work um, with 20 percent so here you can start with no blurring so you can create your mask yourself or you can use the Google picture search here, cookie silhouette, Christmas, free images. So I pick here this image here and save it in the camera roll. So you need black and white images. So yeah. Um, you can also use um, yeah, colored images, but um, the best thing is a black and white image. So full black and white. Such images here. Yeah, so let's use a mask tool here in the alpha options here you can change your alpha image and I delete this one and import this picture here so you see here this is now our stamp or our alpha we can invert the, the image and we can change the scaling so it fits inside this red ring here, something like this. Change the fall off to a flat fall off. Pressure is off and the stroke type, change it to log radius. So, okay. So at the left side here, the symmetry, turn it off. And I only activate the symmetry men menu here to see this red line here, 
to have my exact center point for this. So I pick here now the the pencil and create my mask stamp. Okay. Here in the mask settings we can press uh, one time on the sharpen button and then it's okay. So shell thickness you can set it to zero and activate the smoothness. So when you look inside here this um, this mask you see here uh, blurry edges and now when we extract this and we switch to the solo view you see here now a sharp clean edge so something like this and you can test here the smoothness you you like um, increase the smoothness to up to 20 and extract it and um, the smoother the edge becomes so this is a very sharp nice edge so for our objects so the next step is um, turn this smoothness uh, checkbox off and tap on the screen so everything is masked and now we can set a um, shell thickness so I don't know um, I tested so yeah it's okay I think something like this we can change it with a gizmo so now we have shapes like this and this this mesh here we don't need anymore I delete it and this mesh we can also delete so yeah and let's look at the wireframe at the moment so here's a wireframe here's a grid mesh and here are only straight lines but it's okay so here's a small problem but I think we can fix this okay so let's use a side view here from the right side and the next step is here use the trim the trim tool and here hole fillings is off fill holes is off and rectangular and the symmetry is also off here and let's trim the top and the bottom of the mesh so now we can see our cookie cutters and so we need a shell thickness now so let's use the mask tool again and tap on the screen so every object is now masked so and I use now here is a measure tool on the in the tools and I I pick now here um, the measurement and it says uh, 0 0.004 yeah and this is here for my mask here 0 0.004 so smoothness is off and now we can extract here you you see it's in the positive direction so and extract it so this is our created mesh and we have a very nice and clean mesh for this here and yeah so let's go back to this mesh here this is our start and if you like um, we can create a little bit uh, of a border at the top so change here the settings to zero um, maybe six or a seven let's test it okay so this mesh we can delete 
and this one here we can change with a with a gizmo and at the moment we we don't see here the gizmo or because it's somewhere in the in the center here and but i want to do it here here you can use the pivot option and tap here on this on this front face here on not on the side uh, on on a flat front face and leave the pivot option and now we can shrink this um, mesh here so i leave the solo view and then we can see everything so here you can adjust the the thing of your yeah border so okay if you want the edges a little bit smoother here yeah there's always the option here to voxel remesh the whole thing here when you press on voxel remesh and you need a very um, a high poly count for all these uh, cutters here and then you can remesh so maybe it works without crashing so yeah and here for this um, mesh we can change um, the height a little bit so gizmo is active set the pivot <coughs> so here you can control the the height so that they overlap a little bit and i think it's okay so for this mesh here for example when we need round a little bit round edges here um, you can use here the, the mask option press on the screen and set the shell thickness to zero and activate the smoothness here so now we can extract the whole thing here again and this one we can hide so you get smooth edges so if you like so you have to play a little bit with it um, so there's a sharp edge and here's a round edge maybe uh, move it a little bit with a gizmo and so on so and for the poly count you can use here now the misc menu and decimate the meshes down yeah i don't know what's the best poly count for 3d printing so yeah but now you have nice um, cookie cutters i think that's it have fun with sculpting ciao